What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Taurus, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you just saying, saying, saying. This is um, weekly reading for the sign of Taurus. This can resonate if you have um, Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is, fl is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I did get a few messages in as I was meditating on, on your weekly energy. Um, the first one I heard moving on. The second one I heard ho home renovations. And the third one I heard lots of golf. And I heard that kind of big. So moving on, home renovations and lots of golf. So you plug it in how it fits to us. So you're either you're moving on or someone you're connected to is moving on from person, people, place, family, or organization or situation. You plug it in how it fits. Um, home renovations, that could be you um, doing these home renovations or someone you're connected to. You plug it in how it fits. And then um, lots of golf, really big. So you're either playing lots of golf or someone you're connected to or you're interested or you've been watching lots of golf. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of lots of golf energy. So either you're physically playing it or you want to physically physical, physically play it or you're watching it. Maybe for some, you're dreaming, dreaming about going to Wimbledon. I mean, I don't know. But somebody likes golf. Either you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it fits. Okay. And the moving on energy, like I said, it could be from a, a relationship. It could be from person, people, place, family, situation, organization, a relationship, a toxic situation, spirit messages you have for some tools. Um, you plug it in how it fits, but um, some kind of moving, moving on energy, either you or somebody you're connected to. Nine of Wands reverse, Ten of Swords upright. A particular Taurus has been a punching bag for a particular particular Libra. Very heavy punching bag. It has got this Taurus hurt many, many, many times. However, this Taurus is about to stand up to this to this Libra in a huge way. Huge, huge, huge way. Some going to break away completely. Some going to break away completely and contact authorities. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it fits. That's strong. So you plug it in how it fits. Um, whoever this resonates with, I heard you were a punch, a punching bag. A punching bag to a Libra. So whoever this resonates with, that could be metaphorical or it could be physical. I hope to God it's not physical for some it possibly could be i hope i do not wish domestic violence or physical violence or any kind of violence on anyone any time of the week um so i i would like to think in a perfect world this is all metaphorical but for some it could be physical so if you're in a violent physically violent situation please 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 move away there are safe homes there are safe shelters there is Numbers, emergency 1-800 numbers you can call for physical domestic violence. I just want to make that very abundantly clear for anybody who needs to hear that. If this is a physical domestic violence situation, okay? If it's not and it's metaphorical, then, you know, that's a little different. Mental abuse is still never okay, but I'm just saying any abuse is never okay. But if it is, you are in severe danger at this current, you know, point in time please take some action call 800 number uh call a safe home house um call get some help call a friend something um and i'm not trying to be funny i'm being serious i love to ha have fun on here for real for real but this is not fun energy definitely not so i just want to make that abundantly clear but um i heard you've been a punching bag to a libra so if it is physical we already went over that okay um but i heard betrayed you many 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 times but you're about to to break away okay so if it is metaphorical 
Metaphorical would be um, mental, mental abuse. Um, and for some, it could be cheating. For some, it could be physical abuse. For some, it could be mental abuse. For some, it could be cheating if you were in a uh, physical, I'm, I'm sorry, a, um, a relationship with this person, like a um, romantic relationship. Or a third party, even. Um, the punching bag energy could be metaphorical, too, if you're like in a situation ship. Or a third party energy with this Libra. They just use you as a fall, fallback person fallback person oh well you know i have my side chick or my side dude i'll just go be with them for the night treat them like you know use them for one night treat them like trash and move on and then contact them in three weeks um so you plug it in how it fits i'm not saying that's the case but somebody has been a punching bag to a libra you're basically you're tired of shit you're tired of it you're about to move on and i don't blame you so whether it's physical mental or um situationship or relationship energy you're moving on i mean you got the ten of swords upright so it, it didn't happen just one time it happened many fucking times time after time after time after time again tennis this is more like 50 swords 50 swords right in the motherfucking back i'm just saying continual um and not this was not standing up for yourself in the past but i heard it's about to change very soon with you so it's about to change 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 for some, I heard you're going to completely just cut energy with this Libra. Um, so completely just, I'm assuming, block numbers, block your energy, block numbers, physically move low away from this person, block your number, block, you know, everything, all your contact information from this person and move the hell on. And I don't blame you. Um, and for some, it's moving on and contacting authorities about this Libra. So that could be state police, local police. FBI, CIA, governmental entity energy. Um, apparently, there's some kind of criminal acts. At least one Libra has done to a um, Taurus or does a Taurus and someone else. You plug it in how it fits. Enough to get the authorities called on this Libra. You plug it in how it fits. Holy good God. For some, it is involving money laundering. In a church situation, has gotten this Taurus in a lot of trouble. For some, it is money laundering in a company. Wow, a lot, a lot of money laundering energy. My God. All right, for some, it's money laundering in a church situation. It's gotten this Taurus in a lot of trouble. And for some, and it, maybe for another one or Several of you guys, you plug it in how it fits. It's involving money laundering in a company. So you plug it in how it fits. A lot of money laundering energy, and it involves a Libra. So you plug it in how it fits. Mine, you're mine. Spirit messages you have for sign of Taurus. Nine of Swords reverse, the full reverse. A particular Taurus is in a very, very healthy relationship. Very healthy. Very copacetic for both individuals. This Taurus is very, very, very happy in this relationship. Very happy. It really pisses other people off, but that doesn't matter. Okay, well, you go with your bad self, Taurus. If this resonates with you, you go with your bad old self. Whoever this resonates with, I heard you're very, very, very happy in a relationship. Very happy. Um, it makes you very fucking happy. And you're very happy to be there. Uh, it pisses other people off. They're jealous, jealous Jackie or jealous Jane or jealous Joe or jealous whoever. Um, but that doesn't matter. And hell no, it don't matter. As long as you and the other person are happy together, that is what matters. And fuck what everybody else says. And that's just the truth for real for real. I'm being real, real, real about that. So you go with your bad ass self if this resonates with you. So you don't have any mental health issues, no stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because you're fucking happy in your relationship and you go with your bad ass self, fuck what everybody else says, and 
no fear you're this is stuck stagnant energy but it's you're happy to be stuck like chuck to the to the other person if this resonates with you because it makes you happy it's it's a copacetic relationship it's give and take equal give and take probably good sex um mental spiritual physical sexual um lightness there so this person probably fulfills you mentally spiritually um and sexually um all the levels that a person is um uh, that a romantic partner and a like a twin flame s type energy fulfills for a person so that's fucking fantastic i didn't hear twin flame in here but it sure as hell feels like twin flame energy just saying just saying you go with your bad self and you know i heard a lot of people are je fucking jealous about it but let them be jealous there's a reason they're jealous because they want what you have just saying just saying just saying all right we'll do an animal spirit card race cars and pork rinds and ballet slippers race cars pork rinds and ballet slippers so you plug it in how it fits that's a hell of a mixture right there um so race cars so maybe you like race cars or somebody you're connected to likes race cars or you will like nascar um, or someone you're connected to likes nascar some kind of race car energy or maybe if you have a child, your um, child's bedroom is decorated in race cars or a child you're connected to's bedroom is uh, decorated in race cars, possibly. You plug it in how it fits. Pork rinds, maybe you like to eat pork rinds or somebody you're connected to likes to eat pork rinds or you're on the keto diet and you eat a lot of pork rinds. I don't know, some kind of pork rind energy um, and ballet slippers. So maybe one of you guys likes to go to the ballet or someone you're connected to likes to go to the ballet. Maybe this very healthy copahesic relate copahesic relationship. Maybe you like to go on a date to the ballet, or your partner likes to go on a date to the ballet. Um, or you have a kid that um, likes um, that does takes ballet um, classes, and you buy ballet slippers. Um, or you are a ballet dancer. Um, you plug it in how it fits. Some kind of ballet slipper energy. Spirit messages you have for um, sign for us. Or you have a child, their bedroom is decorated in ballerina, possibly, with ballet slippers. You plug it in how it fits. That's pretty cool. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Um, You could be dealing with another earth sign, because this is earth sign um, um, energy. So double earth sign energy, or not. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it fits. Also, number 49 could be very significant. Number 49. Um, it could be 49 could be an age. It could be a jersey number. It could be a, pa a passcode numbers. Um, it could be safe numbers. Some um it could be reoccurrent numbers you see out in the universe in some type of way. You plug it in how it fits. Now is a lucky time. There's about to be a very significant breakup between a Capricorn and a Taurus. It is going to make this Taurus feel very, very, very free. It was a very, very, very tumultuous relationship. Very strictly sexual. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Oh, God. Okay. So, I heard um, there was a, apparently, okay, for who this resonates with, I don't think it's this. I'll tell you this. Um, I really don't. This seems very stable, grounded, probably been around a hot, hot minute, or is really building, and is going to be around a hot minute. So, I don't feel it's this. I'll tell you that. This is very healthy energy. Um, but whoever this is resonating with, apparently you were... I heard a mostly strictly sexual relationship with a Capricorn. So if this resonates with you, um, you were dating a Capricorn, but it was mostly strict, strictly sexual relationship. But I heard there's about to be a huge breakup soon between you and this Capricorn, and it's going to make you feel very, very, very free. Um, very free. 
Okay, I just heard again, very free. So double, double deuces, confirmation, very free. So it was strictly, mostly strictly sexual anyway. So it, there wasn't, it doesn't sound like there was any really true feelings there. Or um, not enough feelings to keep it together beyond the sexual realm is kind of what I'm feeling here. But you plug it in how it fits. And we have the rabbit spirit card. So I heard it was a mostly strictly sexual relationship. I think of effing like rabbits. Just for real, for real. I'm not trying to sound crass, but I mean, I just do, you guys. Don't it? Don't it make you think after hearing that message? All the little baby rabbits. You ever heard the term effing like rabbits? Just saying, just saying. That's what I think of. <laughs> I mean, you take it out resonates. But anyways, I, I heard for you, Taurus, it's going to make you feel very, very free. It's going to make you feel very freaking free once you're free of this mostly sexual relationship with this caps. Um, and that might be the moving on energy as well. Um, moving on away from this. Because this sounds very... Um, that message sounds very um it sounds toxic it sounds toxic it didn't sound like there was really any building there any building and growing and real plans in life together and really being able to build dreams together energy uh, and i'm just being real for real so it sounds like you dodged a bullet um in my personal opinion but you plug it in how it fits um the the girlfriend or boyfriend could have caps um that apparently it's about you're about to have a breakup with could have caps in their sun moon rising venus or they been having their jupiter you plug it in how it fits let me see if i hear anything else it's going to really really catapult you to bigger and better things and intuitively you know this moving on okay so I heard moving on is going to basically catapult you um, to bigger and better things. And intuitively, you know this. So you're a highly intuitive person who this resonates with Taurus. So moving on from this toxic sexual, mostly sexual relationship with this caps is going to catapult you. It's going to skyrocket you up um, and make you very happy and um, get you out of there. It's going to get you out of there, uh, out of this toxic relationship and skyrocket you to bigger and better things basically and that's awesome all right i love you i love you guys so much i hope everybody makes wonderful choices and please share these videos if you think anyone could benefit from these messages i'd appreciate it love you guys so much and namaste